February 24th, 25th, and 26th is Randall Sexton, expressive, expressive brushwork in the studio, the Mexican landscape. And Randall's um, workshop is broken up into a few different formats, but uh, Randall um, is known for his uh, really uh, talking about um, really expressive color and expressive brushwork in his paintings, quite beautiful. Um, and uh, I was really impressed the first, I think it was the first year that Randy uh, was at the Casa. Uh, on Tuesday evenings, we have um, the artist night. It's kind of an open house. We invite people from Boca and Vallarta to join us. And um, the artist does a presentation or a demonstration. And Randall decided he would do a portrait of me. And he, in about an hour, created this amazing portrait. And I think the last time he did one of our dear friend, Ruben. Um, but uh, let, let's let Randy tell us what his workshop's about. Hey, welcome. Um, <clears throat> I just have to say uh, a shout out to everyone that's tuning in. And um, this has been, a, you know, obviously a really tough year. Uh, and I want to echo a lot of the uh, artists that have talked already. Um, it, first of all, it's just such an honor to be with such a great group of artists. Um, uh, and I would echo a lot of the sentiments towards uh, both Robert and Monica and the Casa itself. Uh, they do an amazing job. Um, just, just really like I, echoing what Tom, his line about it's, a, a super refreshing um, program that you put together, a week experience really. It's just uh, phenomenal, really, really uh, just, it, I miss going there, uh, you know, this, this year, of course. Um, <clears throat> but we, we're dealing with it and this whole, um, you know, plein air, the, the workshops that are, are there, there's a lot of them that are, are plein air workshops for good reasons. There's such amazing, uh, things to paint there. It's very colorful. I can see uh, where Michelle is going to just take all of that Key West color down to Mexico and it's just going to play like crazy. So um, it's a visually just a wonderful place as well as a wonderful community. And um, one of the greatest things, well, first, I think that plein air for me, um, my workshops are plein air down there and it's, um, Plein air is always such an adventure, you know? You're capturing the day, you're capturing the moment. And that adventure is, is uh, a huge part of what gets injected into your work. Um, the, uh, you know, the weather, whatever's happening, um, the scenes. We, the adventure that Bob puts together is that we actually were there at, at the, the small town of Boca, um, gorgeous, very charming romantic fishing village that um you know we're there for the for that's where we're staying and and getting together and eating um you know three squares a day phenomenal food and um <clears throat> and then we go out and and get out and explore some of the towns and some of the villages around as well so just i can't say enough about it and i, I can't wait to get back um, my workshop that I'm putting together is three day workshop and um, it is, it's, it's open medium and it's, it's also covering three um, subject matters uh, or uh, genres of painting. Um, landscape to begin the first day, uh, still life or figure the second day and then the third is, is the, the portrait. So, and people can, will be able to to just focus on one if they prefer to do that. But it, I will cover um, working in, in each of those um, subject matters. So I'm gonna just get onto screen share and uh, share you some of the paintings that I've, I've done in the past, the little yeah. town that's uh, up just, you know, uh, up in the, in the mountains. Uh, good place to, draw. Oh, I have to refer to you, Robert, on is it Retsia? Ricea. <laughs> Ricea. A mother load of, of, uh, of different type of tequila there. Um, but it's a, a gorgeous uh, little, little town, a wonderful square. We do go to a botanical garden, which you saw in the, in the, um, 
intro little video there. Um, that's just fabulous. I have I couldn't find a couple of the other paintings that uh, I had done images of them, but this was an orchid. Those blossoms are probably you know eight to ten inches big. It's just a gorgeous place to paint. Um, just up from the the casa, uh, looking back towards the valley, <clears throat> and another one from Tuita and a painting from uh, from just around the corner, looking uh, across the beach. So I would echo a lot of the, uh, um, the way that I think many other teachers teach is that I, I do try to focus on large shapes and simplification and uh, playing with a lot of, of play between soft and hard, uh, harder edges as well as trying to create more atmosphere. I think that's what uh, I, I focus on as, a, as, a, as an artist. So that's what I try to, try to, um, you know, try to pass on. Um, uh, one of the, this is not my painting of course, but one of the wonderful things that is part of the, the week is that we're able to travel into Puerto Vallarta and go through some of the um, galleries there, do gallery tours and, and spend an afternoon or an evening um, wandering on this, uh, you know, around the streets of Puerto Vallarta, which is awesomely fun. Um, and this um, is Ruben. Um, he is a luminary uh, uh, figure there in, in Boca. And I did another portrait, which will be the, the uh, one of the aspects of the workshop is, is either portrait or figure. So um, if you're not familiar with that work of my, my own, I've got a couple of images um, that uh, are examples of what I do. So, so I will ha I'll, we will be working from reference and, um, but I'll be doing a demos each day in each you know, each with each subject matter and, uh, and then we'll be working from some of the reference that I put together for you. Uh, still life, an example of my still lives, uh, basically, you know, showing that, that pretty much anything can be subject matter, even the kitchen sink. And um, that's kind of where I will uh, stop this. I think I'm back to my, yep. my regular screen here. Um, so, um, one uh, thought I had, Robert, too, is, you know, part of this is, is to generate some, some funds for some of your staff. And I would love to do uh, as part of um, a demo, as well as part of a donation painting, is a painting of some of the, um, you know, people that work there. Oh. Uh, like Ruby. Ah, would be great. So if you could pass on some, some photo reference. Uh, for her, that would be wonderful. I would and I thank you. Me. This has been just a, such a pleasure. And you know, we're dealing with this and the the the, the way that we're ha forced to move into working uh, more with technology, even that even being old school painters, you know, um, is is a a great challenge and and it's fun. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm enjoying it. I have yeah. a a class that I'm teaching online myself now. And um, I'm learning a lot myself. So, so uh, kudos to this whole way of dealing with this this year. <laughs> Thank you, Randall. That was great. Um, yeah, so Randall's workshop, uh, expressive brushwork in the studio, the Mexican landscape, the still life portrait and figure is the 24th, 25th and 26th of February. And uh, Randall is a lot of fun to paint with.